The world of small scale RC crawling has absolutely exploded and that's because you could pick up these rigs for a fairly affordable price. They're really easy to use, they're customizable, and they're a lot of fun for indoor and outdoor adventures. We've had a bunch of them come through the workshop here. I'm talking everything under 10 scale. I thought I'd sit down for a moment and talk about 10 of my favorite that we've had experience with. We're gonna start off with number 10 and it's the Hobby Plus Rock Van, the CR18P chassis. And I picked this one because it's unique. How often do you see a van for crawling. It's a really cool looking model. Love the vibrant paint job. The, the big bumper on the front of this it has LED lights in the headlights and taillights. Look at the oversized tires. It has an aluminum frame rail set up to it, portal axles even, and it's a great bargain. This thing is $120. It's not a super fast rig, so it's kind of just, you know, a close up crawl type of situation, but this is a lot of fun and it'll definitely turn some heads. For number nine, we have the Panda Hobby Tetra 24. This is actually version two. We tested version one on the channel and I would go with version two if you're going to pick one up. These are really great small scale rigs. They have a number of different body styles to them. LED lights from the factory. I like that they have magnetic body mounts up front. It just tilts up so you can access the battery pack. This rig has aluminum shocks and you could go add some more oil to them. They're just lightly oiled from the factory. Long can motor for torque and and then metal frame rails, good suspension setup with fairly rigid plastic links on here, slider drive shafts in the center, portal axles, so it's got ground clearance, even CVs out to the front portal hubs, like the tires on this. Panda Hobby, they've got a great little following and there's going to be option parts available for this rig, which a lot of people love. Here's the Element Enduro 24. This specific model hasn't been on the channel yet, but we have featured the Sendero version and they're pretty much the same. I'm holding this one for display purposes. I have my Sendero torn apart for a project, but I need to let you know about this rig. It's a underrated rig. More people should be checking this one out because you can get it for around $100. It's a great bargain for what you're getting here. You get a metal frame chassis, really solid axles, nice tires, and I like the drivetrain layout. It's got a forward mounted transmission. The motor is all the way up front so you get better traction. And then it's got a transfer case in the center. It's a really neat setup. And if you know the Element brand, you know that these guys like to build performance machines, even down to this small scale. Now this small scale rig doesn't exactly fall into the cheap category. And of course I'm gonna tell you why, but first up, you need to know the name. It's the RC four wheel drive 118 scale Glande D90. And this is a pretty much all metal rig with a hard ABS body. Now, the reason why it's so expensive is all of the parts are metal, the frame, the axles, the linkages, the shocks, the cross braces, the bumpers, all of it metal and metal wheels, of course, bead locks. This is basically like their larger metal rigs just scaled down and look at the detail on this body. Absolutely killer. They offer these with a couple different body sets and they're a lot of fun to paint, modify and take out on small scale adventures. Here's number six, the Kyosho Mini Z Toyota 4Runner. This is a license scale model, hard plastic body. And if you know Kyosho models, you know they're really well detailed. I and mean, we even have chrome door handles, a chrome grill, and a spare tire out back. Now this 24 scale rig has metal links, a metal chassis, and the electronics package is actually a really high quality setup. What's pretty neat about this particular rig is it actually runs on AAA batteries, so it's easy to swap out the battery. And these Mini Z rigs look so cool when you're out driving them. I bet some people were wondering when I was gonna get to the FMS rigs, and here's one now, the FJ Cruiser. One of my favorites among the many FMS vehicles. I love the hard plastic body, the two-tone, actually three-tone, with the black fender flares, like the snorkel on it, that even has a full-size spare tire out back. But FMS is known for really detailed bodies. They have LED lights in them, full interior, the hood pops up, that's where you access the battery, and you could also see the electronic module. They have a proven metal chassis rail set up, nice axles, composite plastic links, and like most FMS models, we only wish that they had oil-filled shocks on this. It would just set them over the top, but as far as scale realism, these guys have it nailed. No, I didn't forget Axial either, and this is my favorite of the SCX24s, the Gladiator. This has the long wheelbase chassis on it, which makes it handle really well. 
and I'm also a Gladiator fan since I drive one, but this rig is a lot of fun. There's a ton of aftermarket support for this. The electronics are simple. The axles are really stout. They have a worm drive set up in here, ball bearings, and it was tough deciding between this one and the Bronco, which has the hard body on it. But when it comes down to it, I'm a Gladiator fan, and that's why it made our top 10 list. Now this big guy does fit into the small scale category, the Axial Capper UTB18. Uh, they call it an 18 scale. There's a big discussion about that on the internet, but you know what, when it comes down to it, it's a really capable rig under the 10 scale size. What's so cool about this rock buggy is the awesome cage on here. It does have metal lower links. The portal axles are absolutely awesome with CVs out to the portal housings. I've seen a lot of really cool parts coming out recently for them. And if you wanna go out and swap out the electronics, it does have a full size servo up front, which really helps in the steering department. And I have to say this rig has been a real blast around the house here, crawling rocks in my backyard and taking it on small adventures at the local trails. The Traxxas TRX 4M. It's kind of sitting at number two on my list. Maybe it should have been number one. It's still kind of on the new side, but this rig is selling out everywhere. This is definitely going to be a top three rig for a long time. And it may gather up that number one slot very soon on a lot of people's lists, but this is a really capable, really affordable small scale crawler. It has a hard body, metal frame. It's 18 scale, nice axles, oil filled build shocks. The steering servo works really well out of the box. It does have a two-in-one setup for the ESE receiver combo, and it comes with a battery pack. I love the clipless system on this body. Just two tabs in the front and rear, pops it right off. You could access the battery really easy on it, and there's tons of aftermarket support already jumping on the bandwagon. If you could find one, if you do see one in the hobby shop, I wouldn't wait to pick one up. And finally, at the top of the list, the FMS models FCX24. This really gained a lot of popularity since its release. One, because it's pretty inexpensive. The price is always varying, but it's under $150. Sometimes it's been around $120, so you gotta look out for sales. But this is a really capable rig. What people like most about this is the two-speed transmission in here. It has a low gear that is super slow and smooth for crawling, and then the high gear is so fast, it's almost as fast as a 110 scale rig, so you could actually take it to the local trails and have a lot of fun crawling and not have to go and pick it up at every little adventure spot you want to go and tackle. Slider drive shafts in the center, does have LED lights up in the front. It is a hard body available in multiple different colors. I like the Chevron style tires. And there's also a ton of aftermarket support for this rig as well already. There's a lot of people building some amazing projects with this little rig. And there's my top 10 list. It was not easy picking out the order. I'll have links for everything in the video description below. While you're down there, hit that subscribe button. And obviously we haven't tested every RC mini rig out there. If there's one we missed that people should really know about, let us know in the comment section below.